Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. When we left off last time, we had just arrived at Liberty Island, which is, believe it or not, the last level. Let's get started. I do like that they circle back to Liberty Island. I think it's a pretty cool level, especially where we end up going. Now, let me talk briefly about this level. Uh, who's allied to you and who's hostile to you depends on what you chose in the last mission. You can be allied with Apostle Corps, the Templars, or the Illuminati. Now, everybody has troops on the island, so whichever one you sided with will be friendly to you. So if you side with the Templars, their power-armored troopers will be friendly, everyone else is hostile. If you sided with the Illuminati, their elite troopers are friendly, everyone else is hostile. And if you sided with Apostle Corps, like I did, then the Greys and the Robots are friendly, and everyone else is hostile. But we haven't finally committed to an ending yet. I'll let you know when we reach the irrevocable decision point, and then, of course, I'll be sure to show you all of the endings, even though, if I think about it, the Apostle Corps, the Apostle Corps ending is the one I choose both because I prefer it and because it's the only one that doesn't involve murder. So, I will save before I commit the murders and then show you the endings, breaking the no-kill rule, but my, my canon ending is the last one I'll show you, and like I did with the first game, I'll choose my least favorite first and then progress up to what I feel is the best ending. So let's roll. All right, goal received, find Aquinas spec, goal received, Apostle Corps, great advance. So first, here's my map of Liberty Island. As soon as I find it, anyway. There it is, map, Liberty Island. So I don't quite know where I landed, but I think I'm around here somewhere. But Liberty Island is laid out more or less the way it was in the first game. It is divided into two load zones, and you can only get to the statue through the main entrance, but you got the North Dock and the South Dock. The Illuminati encampment is at the South Dock. Unatco HQ is right where it was, and that bunker, that building that had the malfunctioning generator is now something called Bunker K. Any anyway, let's go. Now, this bot seems like it's hostile for some reason. But that doesn't matter. It's handled. It's disabled. So, where to go first? There's an armored Templar over there. I obviously need to leave him be. I'm just, I'm not sure where I'm actually standing right now. That's my biggest problem. Okay, now I know. North Dock and Bunker K are both this way, so let's head this Alex, direction. On the North Dock. Come see me. Oh, Tracer's here. A load zone to the east side. Whatever, let's head there. I just got a notification that all three Deus Ex titles are 75% off this weekend. That's a fantastic deal if you're one of the sad, unfortunate people who's never played the first one. Alright, here we are on the east side. Let's head to the north dock. Alright, that bot is on our side as it should be. But there's an elite trooper between me and the North Dock, so let's just cloak up and head past him. 
You'll notice everything around here is frozen. But shouldn't matter much. I'm not seeing any goodies with my vision enhancement. Looks like we've got three Hunter Seeker bots in crates. And look! The dock's not much of a dock anymore. They made everything frozen. But here is where we met good old Harley Philbin in the first game. Tracer Tong's in there now, right where Harley was standing the first time around. Anyway, I'm going to refill my energy. We're in the last level. There's no point conserving resources. Let's talk to Tracer. To with JC. I can't leave these bots unattended, or they might fall into the hands of one of our enemies. Are their legs frozen or something? The bots are fine. It's cracked processors in the housing units that have prevented me from bringing them online. JC warned me that the eutactic nature of the statue reconstruction would require him to drop the temperature. But this is quite extraordinary. How's he able to control the weather? You can do it with a nanite swell. The particles absorb kinetic energy, which is then emitted as light. By the time I arrived, though, the glow had subsided, so our choppers had no warning and crossed into the zone too quickly. Can the housing units be repaired? Yes, it's a simple repair. I just seem to have left Trio without any multi-tools. Goal received. Repair bots. Apostle Core. Repair Tong's bots by recharging repair circuits with energy cells. Doing so will enable Tong to allocate his resources to help the Apostle Core cause. Oh yes. And I never read these. Locate the computer containing the Akina specification on the lower level of UNATCO. Yes, we go back to UNATCO. Apostle Core. Upload the Akina specification data to JC Denton, then go to the statue to merge with JC and Helios. Doing so will bring about a great advance for civilization and for humanity itself. With all of these different people just near each other, at this point, well, I already did it in Cairo, but I don't really have a choice but to absolve myself of responsibility for them killing each other. The best I can do is not murder them. I've got nothing... Nothing else to spend our multi-tools on, so... Might as well... Bring the bots online. New file opened. Your actions will be recorded. Let's get all three. Goal complete. Repair bots. Now everyone's fighting. Uh-oh, Tong's gonna die. Unless he gets out of there. Anyway, there's another energy cell up there. And Tracer has dropped a mag rail, a concussion grenade, an EMP grenade. The Elite dropped some ammo and a mag rail. I can't be held responsible for them killing each other. It just happens too frequently. Anyway, we got some armored Templars over there, along with the bot that's on our side. Let me see what's over here. So there's another Denton to worry about? That's the word from command. Alex is their little brother, I guess. Just as dangerous, though, if not more so. I'll keep an eye out. You'd better be ready. After everything he's done to undermine the Grand Master's plans, he definitely wants this guy taken down. All right.
We got more armored Templars over here, but there's an SMG, a concussion grenade, and an ammo clip. Well, none of that's really useful, is it? Now there, there are two Illuminati troopers who have gotten into a fight with the Templars. Actually, it looks like the Illuminati are, are winning. Which I guess makes sense. They really tore up... Uh, just one of those troopers really tore up Tracer's bots. So... They're really beating each other up. <laughs> Alright, the Templar won. That's fine. That now, if I remember right, Bunker K is the Templar encampment, as it were. <laughs> so we've got a rocket launcher and a mag rail here. <clears throat> that the first armored Templar who bit it dropped. Over here, the elite troopers dropped a sniper rifle, a spider bomb, an EMP grenade, and ammo. Alright, let's check out Bunker K. Stay cloaked, of course. Got a med kit here in the corner. This is where Saman is, but he's hostile to us right now. I don't really see anything in there. I wish I could get better assignments. Let's get into his chest. He's got an EMP converter, an ammo clip, a spider bomb, and two more ammo clips. Over here we've got three ammo clips and an energy blade. I wonder if I can knock out Saman and still be okay. Oh. <laughs> nope. I shouldn't have messed with Saman anyway, because I need to show you the Templar ending. So let's just get out of here. Alright, let's just keep on moving for now. A Templar might have done me the favor of clearing this side out. Alright, let's head toward the south dock. That's where the Illuminati camp is supposed to be. And go ahead and use a med kit too. Alright, let's head back to the west side for now. All right, here we are back on the west side. Let me do a save right quick and see what's nearby. A power, two power armored Templars. Over there, we've got two Illuminati elites. Up on these crates, looks like two energy cells and a mag rail. That all really is handy. I don't want the second mag rail, though. What's that I hear? It seems that the trespasser has fled. All right. Here's the south dock, and over there is Unatco. Let me head over here first. The spider bot is hostile, apparently. No matter, now it's handled. I'm not cloaked right now, I need to keep that in mind. So anyway, here's the statue entrance. You might remember this little building from the first game. So let's go ahead and head in here. See what we can find. Three ammo clips. 
An EMP grenade and a med kit. Not bad. Now over there takes us right back to the landing site. So I'm going to take out this spider bot. I almost forgot that attacking the spider decloaked me. Anyway, let's talk to this gray now. In Antarctica, you helped our kind. JC tells us you are his ally as well. We welcome you. With someone like you aiding JC, we are hopeful. An end to the battle and silencing is within reach. We prepare for a new world and will stop those who threaten its coming. An end to the battle and right. silencing is within reach. Let's head into the statue and talk to everybody. JC will make tomorrow look like yesterday. to be left in peace. We come to help JC make this the last conflict. We can hear them, no longer caged and scared. The others here, you are not like them. You can see the true path. We can hear them. All right. So let's check things out a bit. I got two ammo clips here. There's a dead gray over here. JC's got turrets and turrets and my brother arrived safely thank you again your enemies have occupied the island i have no enemies merely topographies of ignorance the people drift aimlessly collecting into clans wherever they find a glimmer of knowledge you don't sound worried you're wasting time i want you to locate the aquinas specification inside unatco when helios has recovered its hub privileges you'll step into the infusion chamber and the nanites in your body will be replicated in the air and ultimately in the bloodstreams of every last human being with this act the geography of human thinking will be leveled every mind will be part of a continuum trust me misunderstanding ignorance the charade of boring ideologies or in any form all are already historical footnotes before the collapse helios was the entity that managed the aquinas network AI was created by MJ-12 to track every electronic transmission of the planet. Under my guidance, Helios has restructured itself to synthesize and redistribute information freely. It will become the collective consciousness of the human race. The only honest form of government is one that responds to the opinions of the people every second of the day. Time is short. You need to locate the Aquinas specification files under the UNATCO ruins and transmit them to Helios. Representative democracy was sluggish and prone to corruption, the result of the technological limitations of previous centuries. Politicians existed only because determining the will of the people was a tedious and time-consuming process. One vote every couple of years was the most input any government asked of its people. The only honest form of government All right. was response to the opinions of the people every second of the day. Let's see what's in the chest. It's unlocked, which is awesome, and we've got... Two energy cells, an increased damage mod, and three ammo clips. Let's talk to Paul since we're down here. Welcome. It's hard to believe that our hard work is nearly done. Are you sure we can trust JC, even after the merger in Antarctica? Have you looked around? All he's done, I have to wonder about his sanity. This is what we've been working toward ever since I uncovered the truth about UNATCO and MJ-12, even if I didn't realize it at the time. I trust his vision. He intends to give every human being an nanite infusion. That doesn't seem drastic to you? His vision isn't easy to comprehend because he's operating on a higher level now. We just have to trust his wisdom, and soon we'll all share in it. Just imagine how communication would change when every mind is linked together with light speed transmissions. The JC Helios AI will be the new government, responsive to every need, large and small. No more waiting for the petty arguments and posturing of corrupt human beings. Caprice in determining the course of human affairs. The new era will be one of true equality. Everything leading up to this, all the work and sacrifice, has been well worth it. There will be an end to hierarchy as soon as you and JC share your abilities with the world. Each person's true potential will be able to shine through now, no longer burdened by physical limitations. Every voice will be heard. It won't matter who or where you are. 
the stratification of influence will fade away. And they don't even know it's coming, that something historic is about to happen to each and every one of them. There will be an end to hierarchy All right. as soon as you and JC share your So let's, uh, let's check out the rest of the statue. You'll notice that the vast majority of it is inaccessible, but... I do like that the torch looks the same as it did in the first game, even if it's been knocked over. But we can't get back to where Gunther was being held. We can't get upstairs. We can go to the upstairs perimeter. There used to be some NSF up here. Now it's just a few of JC's greys. There's an energy cell up here, that's handy. Oh, and there's just one more gray up here. He just has a big patrol. You have a purpose. We will try to help you as you help us. Your motives are clear. We will try to help you as you help us. Alright. So we're done in here for now. Let's head out. We still need to go to the uh, South Dock, the Illuminati headquarters on the island, before we go to tackle Unatco. So, let's just head right past these elites, down onto the South Dock. Two more elites. Primary objective, guard premises, special target, Alex D. Dossier uploaded. We'll shoot on sight. We must protect the Illuminati plan at any cost. Alright, well that was pretty straightforward. Back here, we've got a rocket launcher. I don't need you, Alex. I can restore Aquinas myself. I just sent my commandos into you, Natco, to make sure you don't transmit the protocol data to the wrong place. Anyway, here's the dock itself. Right over here is where we started the first game. Let's head past it into what looks like a newly formed ice cave. I can decloak, I'm far enough away from them. Let's travel to the Illuminati encampment right quick. Alright, here is the encampment. Oh, we got a repair bot here. That's handy. Repairing damage. Functionality restored. Well, I'll do a quick save here right quick. Got a hun hunter seeker bot there. And a few elites, too. I'd like to take down the bot if I can. Now I should be able to cloak up and not worry about anything else. So here's their tent. I think I don't think there's anything outside it. No. Should be able to just head right through the door. Now the people in here are not hostile to me. They will still talk, which is good. The next stage drop. Sure you don't want to reconsider? You could become a very powerful man, Alex. With biomodification technology properly regulated, you would be the forerunner of a new elite. Is that a salary position or purely ceremonial? You're a touch more irreverent than your brother, JC. I like that. Yes, you would be compensated. How do I know you won't change your tune once you have the technology? We need a new generation of leaders, and a plan for the generation after that. 
Succession within the Illuminati is usually confined to about a dozen families, most of whom were wiped out first by MJ-12 and then by the Collapse. As for Nicolette and myself, we have been unable to have children. I see. Sorry to hear that. Work with us, Alex. If you show me I can trust you, I am prepared to privilege you like the son I never had. A generous offer. I'll give it some thought. Find the Aquinas specification, upload it to our scientists, then neutralize the Dentons and destroy their machine. The world doesn't need any new gods. Goal received, Illuminati Age of Light. Upload the Aquinas specification data to the Illuminati, then kill JC and Paul Denton and destroy the machine inside the statue. Doing so will bring about the Illuminati Age of Light, an era of carefully managed prosperity. You lack the flaws of the previous revs, JC and Paul. I can hear Ophelia calling to you. Hasten to your destiny. Hasten to your destiny. Alright. If we go in here, there's a combat knife and a book. The Republic by Plato. There are two things that can ruin and corrupt the rest of our workers. What are they? Wealth and poverty, I said. And how do they do it? Well, do you think that a potter who has become rich will want to ply his trade any longer? No. He will become more idle and careless than he was, won't he? Much more. And so a worse potter. Yes, much worse. And again, if he is prevented by poverty from providing himself with tools and other necessities of his trade, the quality of his work will deteriorate, and his sons and anyone else studying the trade under him will not be taught it so well, inevitably. Both poverty and wealth, therefore, have a bad effect on the quality of the work and on the workman himself. Now that's very interesting. Not really anything else to use these multi-tools on, as far as I know. Please take your antiques elsewhere. We've got a biomod canister, a fragmentary round mod, and four ammo clips. And I'm out of multi-tools, but it doesn't really matter. Back here, we've got a pistol, and another book on the table right here. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, we've already read, so let's talk Dumier to death. You talk like you knew JC personally. Did you know him before the merger? I met him in Paris once, a long time ago. He helped me against MJ-12. JC Denton worked with the Illuminati? Well, yes, in a manner of speaking. MJ-12 was a splinter of the Illuminati, so anything that hurt them benefited the remaining families. But I wasn't an Illuminatus at the time. What side were you on? Liberty, in the abstract, or so I thought. I was a reckless child back then, running a gang of revolutionaries. We thought we loved freedom, but mostly we loved the sound of our own voices. Why did you turn against JC? We were momentary allies against a common enemy. Not much more than that. Then he became this... this... thing that freezes oceans and wants to drag every man, woman and child into God only knows what kind of wasted world. I don't think of him as JC, as a person who can be betrayed. He is a force of nature, an element to be overcome. We remain enemies, true. That doesn't mean we can't be civil to each other. I'm a diplomat. I speak kindly to all, but I choose my friends based on their actions alone. Give us your allegiance. Today we have a chance to bring this planet out of its coma. It would take 30 years to rebuild what Aquinas can give us in a few days. Nicolette was right. To reshape history, all you need are a few carefully chosen ideas. We've decided to adopt Nicolette and I. We're going to adopt the population of the entire planet. We shouldn't waste our time chatting. I believe you have work to do. I believe you have work to do. Let's talk to Nicolette now. Any last minute advice? I was hoping you would hear us out. Yes, I worry that you still perceive the Illuminati as a conspiracy. The organization does have some image problems, I suppose. As you know, the Illuminati has imperceptibly guided civilization for centuries. How? Leadership. We elevate the capable into positions of authority where they can do the most good for everyone. JC and Saman both want to level the social order, either by giving biomods to everyone or no one. It's the same either way. The end of true leadership and a descent into chaos. What do you propose instead? Without extraordinary individuals, civilization will founder. Total homogeneity. Now that's unnatural. That's what we have to resist at all costs. 
So the Illuminati wants to maintain disparity? Not disparity, but difference, and the well-managed specialization it makes possible. Some people just aren't leaders and shouldn't be granted great powers. The Illuminati want to ensure that humankind will always have a select few, like you, Alex, to inspire the rest. We'll always lead the people, though they'll never know our names. Our sacred goal, the elevation of humankind, can only be accomplished in secrecy. We will provide civilization with only the best leadership. Perhaps someday they'll be ready, and we'll finally be able to reveal our efforts. For now, we must work quietly and thanklessly. For now, we must work All right. quietly and <clears throat> thanklessly. Let's head to UNATCO now. Everyone out here is still hostile, so just keep that in mind. I can decloak and visit the repair bot. Alright, let's head back through here. And go to what's actually my favorite part of the game, the Unatco Ruins. There's a fifth bonus joke ending, which I will also show you, but generally speaking, there are four possible endings to this game. You've seen... So far, you've seen... You've seen the objectives for two of them. We're... We're still not at the moment of choice. I'll let you know when we get there. There's a Templar. And here's Unatko. Yeah, that's just a basic straight up paladin. Let's check the exterior. Just like we always used to do. Most of it's gone, but we do have... The comm van is still here next to the old helipad. By the way, if you come with Sid Black, this is where he drops you. Let's go in here. Nothing here right now. We got a med kit, an energy cell, an energy cell, and a refire rate mod. Well, I guess it's because I didn't give him the money to get out of Cairo. Um, if you did give Leo the money, or if you encouraged him to go kill the Omar, then Leo shows up here, and he gives you the path to the fourth ending. So I guess it's not gonna show up. But he'll ally with you, he'll go fight anything you tell him to. But what he tells you to do, which gives you the fourth possible ending, is not to do what anyone says, and to kill the leaders of all three organizations. So, that ending is actually pretty hard to get, because you have to kill Nicolette and Chad Dumier, you have to kill Lumen and Saman, you have to kill JC and Paul Denton. So, it's tough to do, but it's not that bad. Oh, we got another hunter-seeker bot here. I'll just let it do its thing, and uh, yeah, since Leo's not here, I'm I'm relatively sure I can still get that ending, so I'll show it to you, and then, uh, yeah, I've been talking too long. Let's head down here. Most of the place is gone. All the chairs, tables... Kevin Lloyd's desk, the bookcase, it's all gone, but here's the, here's the map change to Unatco Ruins, so let's head on in. I gotta tell you, I love this map. It's all sorts of awesome. Unatco Ruins. You'll notice the floor texture is, you know, updated, but the same as it was. I like to make a perma save here, just so I can come back and check it out whenever I want to. 
I really like the music here, too. Anyway, that's just a bum. He's not hostile. We can talk to him. What up, Fee? He doesn't seem to have anything else to say. I'm gonna knock him out. Just because things can get pretty hectic in here and I try to keep everyone safe. Anyway, let's keep going. Level 1. The sign looks the same as it did. Same here, UNATCO personnel only. There's the old water fountain. <laughs> Still good. Now here is Scott's old office. We can finally get inside. His ruined desk. So much for the retinal scanner. These couches are still intact. I just like the faint echoes of the old theme song. Anyway, UNATCO personnel only. Sure. Aquinas control room. Well, that sign didn't used to be there, but doesn't matter much. We just got a couple more bums here. Let's go. Let's see what they have to say. We got a beer and a bottle of wine. What can you tell me about this place? What's to tell? It's where I live. Fifteen years now. I was the first one to show up. Guess it was abandoned during the collapse. I don't know what's going on out there. But this is my home, and I'm equipped for a fight if it comes to that. Yeah? What kind of equipment do you have? Just some things I scavenged from a couple of thugs a while back. You at the raiding party or something? I guess you've been pretty good about avoiding my people so far. I'm selling some of this stuff if you're interested. Wanna do business? He's got... He didn't actually tell me what he had, but he's got ammo clips, a fragmentation mod, and EMP grenades. I'm not interested in any of it. Maybe another time. Okay. You know where to find me if you change your mind. Bum leader. Just scurry on by, I'm busy. He's got nothing to say either. I'm cooked! Ugh. Just gonna knock him out and pull him out of the danger zone if I can. Now you see an armored Templar walking around down there. See the both of the offices up here are inaccessible, so I'm gonna cloak up and head down. Well, I don't guess I don't need to cloak just yet. Let's check out JC's old office. Nothing. Anyone there? Okay, time for a cloak. Nothing inside the closet. Although that one weird little thing is still there. Nothing inside that closet either. Let's head into the break room. Conference room, whatever. I guess this is the conference room. Table's still there. Although it's wrecked. This bum doesn't seem to have anything to say. That's fine. Barely got my cloak back on in time. Now here is the break room and a pretty cool Easter egg. Pay attention. Wow, 20 years and no one's touched him. There's just something wrong with that whole damn machine. For your information, I actually like lemon lime. Oh yeah? Then why don't you drink one? I'm not afraid to. Then do it. Uh, I'm not thirsty right now. Denying people their natural born rights to choose their own artificially flavored destinies? Like I said, there's just something wrong with that machine. Maybe that's why they all left. The soda selection. Something just wasn't right about the people who worked here. Probably some sort of office politics. Someone trying to get back at somebody else. Maybe it was an ordering fluke. Something at the distributors? Or maybe it was just a new flavor the vendor was trying to push. 
Maybe it was an ordering. Was it a food additive test? Or some psych experiment? It probably seemed important at the time whose favorite got stuck. Whatever pettiness it was, they're all gone now. Or some psych experiment? In case you haven't caught on, haven't played the first game, whatever, it's good old Gunther Herman. I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. Anyway, it turns out after all these years, Gunther was right. The machine was only stocked with lemon lime. Damn it! Trying to keep you all safe. Go ahead and take, take all of Gun, all that lemon lime soda that Gunther didn't want. And. I guess I'll knock this gal out too, just to make sure she doesn't go. Everything spinning. Go into the danger zone. Let's check out Manderley's office now. Well, this is Janice's office. Nothing here. Manderley's office. We've got a couple more of them. A couple more bums. So. We tried everything, but it just keeps going over that same bit of carpet. Like an obsessive compulsive housewife on Pequods. Persistent little bugger. Too bad it won't clean up the rest of this place. Persistent little bugger. Old communicator's broken, but here's Manderley's desk. It's also ruined. Let's talk to this guy. Cages for mutated animals, a lot of locked file cabinets. What's this? Knocked out? Politicians are a specialty of mine. Do me a favor, quit digging through my files. Reading through their mail, hehe, <laughs> lots of complaints. Just played the wrong audio file. Who knows why? This one angry mech. His shipment showed up long after he left. I don't think he'll be back to pick it up. Punished. Poor thing. Never got his new toy. Everyone is a little bit broken. A gun in his skull. If you remember from hacking emails, we saw Gunther's request for a skull gun. Apparently it finally showed up. Lost in Paris, too weak to fight the new breed. Cages for mutated animals, a lot of locked file cabinets. Alright, let's do the same thing with these. Knock them out. I'm taking off! Ooh. Slipping away. I oh. Oh. Do not suffer more thirsty criminals. Alright, now let's check the bathroom. Nothing in here. Let's cloak up and head down to level three. You know the beating of JC Tinton, but is your heart in it? Or are you tempted to share the Aquinas specification with us? We offer you your humanity, whereas he can give you nothing but a machine simulation of humanity. Goal received, Templar Flood. Templars, upload the Akita specification data to the Templars, then kill JC and Paul Denton and use their machine to disseminate a global nanite predator. Doing so will cleanse the Earth of nanotechnology and bring the Templars to power. So there you have the three faction goals, and we didn't get it because Leo isn't here, but you can also kill everyone. That's the, that's the fourth option. This one's got nothing to say. We got another armored Templar down here. The old cleaner bot is still running. Watch doorstep. Well met. That's what they were talking about. Inspecting services. Looks like we can't get into the old men's room. Here's the old women's room. The toilets are still in good working order. I kind of expected an Easter egg in here, but there's not one. Anyway, as you can see, we can't get into Jaime's old office. Which is a shame, because it looks like there's some goodies in that side that pile. But we can't get into the Jaime Reyes' old office or down to the deeper MJ-12 facility. Alex's office is the Akinas control room. So let's head over here first. 
This is Gunther and Anna's old office, you probably remember. Nothing in here except a data cube. Shipping receipt, item 3341, skull gun, quantity 1, calibrated for subject H Gunther Herman, received, Sam Carter, notes, return to sender, agent inactive. I find that hilarious. Good old Gunther and his skull gun. Let's head back here to the, to the old holding cells. Nothing here. The lighting style is still the same, I like that touch. Now what do we have in here? A data cube. Discovery for purity. I finally found an intact black market biomod canister to study. I hope I don't accidentally infect myself with it. Anyway, if we get out of this alive, I plan to give it to Luminon Saman personally. It could mean a promotion. So that's the black market biomod canister. Three multi-tools to get to it, no need. That's some kind of weapon mod. Three multi-tools to get to it, no need. An energy blade. I'm out of multi-tools anyway, but it doesn't matter at this point. And finally, scrambler grenade, ammo clip, rocket launcher, med kit, ammo, ammo, concussion grenade, ammo, ammo, noisemaker grenade. That's it. So now let's head to Sam Carter's old office, which you'll recall was the armory. It's now open, but I don't think there's anything inside. Nope, so let's head to Alex Jacobson's old office. It's not too late to avoid another collapse. Transmit the Aquinas specification to the WTO orbiting science platform Ophelia. Most of humanity wants to be bailed, Alex. Ignore them, and what are you fighting for? Not freedom, not democracy. And what? Goal complete. Find Aquinas. Find Aquinas spec. So first, let's duck into the old secret compartment and lo and behold, there are a couple of multi-tools. Just like there sometimes were in the first game. Okay. Alex's old closet has nothing in it. And These machines were built before you were born. Would you like some help figuring them out? I can manage. I remember a time when they were operational. They were the backbone of pre-collapse society. And they called it Aquinas. That's about all I need to know. No one knew that name. <laughs> By the 2050s, communications protocols had become successively more comprehensive and classified until there was only one protocol synonymous with all economic activity yet managed by a very small group of people. Didn't you get the message when I rescued Paul? If I bring the system up, it won't be for the Templars. I am the only world leader who would use this network against machine evolution. Please, nothing but obsolescence awaits humanity if we go back to microsecond economics, revive Aquinas, and assign hub privileges to our computing center in Munich. I'll think about it. Do this for the Templars, then help us reconfigure JC's contraption to disperse a nanite capsid predator, and we will end the plague of biomodification once and for all. Alright. Nothing else to do, and when we arrive at the computer, now it is time to make our final irrevocable choice. So, I'm gonna do a quick save. I'm gonna do one last permasave. I'm gonna call this a video, so tune in and I will show you all five endings to Deus Ex Invisible War. Thanks for watching, I'll see you then, bye bye